Alright, greetings everyone. Uh, today we'll be testing AdAware antivirus, which is um, basically a standalone free antivirus product to give primary basic protection to mostly Windows 7 users. I don't know why Windows 8 user would want basic antivirus protection. They do claim to have some zero-day features, but I've never really seen them in action, and they don't even reflect that in their user interface. So it's very hard to believe that they've got anything apart from signatures. <clears throat> but talking about signatures, they have switched from GFI or the Viper signatures to Bitdefender. So whether or not that will improve the detection ratio is yet to be seen, but it did uh, increase the RAM usage. <clears throat> they've gone to around 140 megabytes right now, including their three process. So it's probably holding the Bitdefender signatures in memory. They've got something called search protection. However, I don't think this is their website blocking feature because that is probably only meant to be used in the pro version. They've got a lot of versions. They've got something called personal security, pro security, and they have some features that are not available in the free version, but they still show them anyway. And if you hit install, you get the option to install the personal security, the pro or the total security versions. Now, this is something I am not a big fan of. I'd like to see just what you've got for me. like. If this is the free antivirus and all it has is real-time protection, I just want real-time protection of everything probably in just one tab because this is just an unnecessary waste of space for me. I mean, why to have web protection, email protection, network protection when all of these are not even active? But I guess the reason behind that is that they just designed one user interface and it makes them easier to just sell a variety of products but they don't have to redesign the user interface each time. It's not a major concern though. The user interface on its own is still very neat and uh, it's well laid out and the advanced settings that are, ne uh, that are necessary are still there. They have some specific scan settings that you might want to mess around with. They have a deep scan I've set everything on default and I'll change only one setting that is from disinfect to quarantine because we don't want disinfected files showing up because that would uh, reduce the accuracy of our detection ratio calculation. Now apart from that not really much to see you can manage your exclusions something you can't do in the Bitdefender free antivirus but apart from that it's a very basic uh, interface, there's really nothing much to mess around, especially no zero-day components. So let's get started with the prevention test. I've got some links here. Some of these may not be zero-day, but that's okay. We'll just try them out and we'll see how LavaSoft Adware does. So it's just basically Bitdefender in a new package along with their anti-spyware, <coughs> which they claim to be legendary. So let's see how it works out. Here is the very first link. They do have a security toolbar, so I'm hoping they'll bl uh, they'll probably block something. Okay, here is uh, the file. It's a control panel item. Let's just try opening it. And it was caught and quarantined, so that's good. It couldn't quarantine the zip file, of course. Okay, this one's not working. It used to be a phishing website. Here's another zip. Again, a control panel item. And it's quarantined, so this one was in their signatures too. That's great. <clears throat> A 
Well, it looks like this one's no longer working. Try out the next one. This one was also blocked. Let's try out this one. I guess this is also some kind of phishing website. Maybe just a fake website, but their toolbar says it's safe. So it didn't catch this one. Here's another zip. Once again, we'll open it. Here's the executable. Let's try running it. And once again, it is quarantined. It is catching all of these threats with its signatures, of course, which is not much of a surprise considering they're using the Bitdefender signatures. We all know that the Bitdefender signatures are pretty good. Again, threat quarantined. I like their new alerts, uh, small and concise, but what I don't like is uh, the way it pops up. It's just so slow and it's kind of annoying. The animation, that is. Okay, this one's not working anymore. Let's try the last one. All right, doesn't look like this one's working either. So, a bit of bad luck in the link test, but let's grab our samples and see what it can do against them. So, I'll just turn off the real-time protection and grab my samples. It should be over here, yeah. So, we've got 499 items, if I'm not wrong. Let's just check it out. Yeah, 499 pieces of malware. So once again, I will do a right-click scan as I usually do, and we'll see what kind of uh, detection ratio this thing can manage. If it's really using the Bitdefender signatures, it should be quite high. So now they have something to show you a bit of progress in the scanner, so that's that's a good addition. If I remember right, that the last version, just this thing just kept spinning and you had no idea to know how, what percentage of the scan was complete and how much was left to do. The scanner itself, the speed seems very similar to Bitdefender. It's not too fast, not too slow. It's kind of average. So I guess I won't even have to pause the video. It should complete pretty fast. Nowadays we're getting ridiculously fast scans, so as I said, this is only average. All right, so it's finished scanning and it's found all these items. So I'll just set it to delete everything. That should make it easy for us. And the removal speed seems to be much improved. If I remember right, the last version used to take ages to remove files. I don't know for what reason, but this version seems to be removing files much faster. That's the way I like it. So some improvements, but again, this is only signature based as far as I understand. We'll see if it misses anything at all. If it does, then we'll run them, and then comes the interesting part. So far, so good. All right, 495 threats. All right, they want me to <laughs> like them on Facebook because it removed 495 threats from me. <laughs> Very funny. So the scan's done. 
let's see what we've got left. Four samples left, and that should give us a pretty high detection rate. So that's basically 495 out of 499, resulting in a detection ratio of 99.19%. Very impressive. And uh, that is to be expected because it uses the Bitdefender signatures. But if I run this file, doesn't look like that file is going to run. Let's try this one. Yeah, this can run just fine. It's probably some kind of adware. And there you go. It's it has started installing crap on this computer. This thing's not running. And I guess all, these are just different variants of a similar product. There you go. This is another crappy adware. So that's basically all it missed. I don't think we need to scan with Malwarebytes because it's quite clear because it only missed four files. This one's not running. And these are going to run just fine. Okay, this this Fusion crap. I've seen this before. If you quit now, your software won't be installed. Okay, let me hit it again. Closing installer. Did that work out? Let's see. All right, so it does uh, close out if you hit the close button twice. But once you say yes, even if you do that by mistake, there's no way to shut it down apart from using the task manager. I think that's what I recall was the situation. But anyway, the final verdict on add aware free antivirus plus, I think it's uh, good alternative to those people who don't really like to use Bitdefender free antivirus because it's arrogant and it doesn't let you decide what to do with each file. So here you've got a bit more customization, but it's basically the same thing in a different package. So hope you guys enjoyed this little review. Once again, I'd like to emphasize the point that this thing doesn't have any zero day capabilities. So, I mean, if, uh, this is not meant to be a standalone product. You need some kind of thing to back it up. And even if you use Bitdefender Free Antivirus, they do have other tech like IDS to back up their signatures, but this is just entirely signature based. So its signatures are good because it's using Bitdefender, but beyond that, I don't think this thing will offer you any protection whatsoever. So if you want to use this, you can, but Again, you would need some kind of firewall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Have a nice day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.